Uh, this is Cities in Motion 2, and I'm going to show how to lay down a tram track on an existing road. The road in question is called the Boulevard, and it's shown right now in the center of the screen going horizontal. And I'm going to go across, I will highlight it, from here all the way across. And then we'll cross over a bridge, which will be this bridge right here. And then it will come down into this little island. And possibly I will either end it right here, or I may extend it over to the next island before I loop it around and bring it back. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop down a depot. And I think the best place for the depot is probably going to be right here where this building is. So I'm going to load up um, the large tram depot. They're very cheap. It's only 720 um, monetary units. So I'm going to drop it right here. And then I'm going to lay the track. I'm going to use the double track because it's going to go on the same route. So we start here, and we'll, the green line shows the route, and normally I would go on the outside lane because there's no center median, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it for this one too. This will allow me to put a little stop, a tram stop, so people can, can get on and off. And then it's going to transfer back into the median. And as long as you uh, add the track from start to finish, it will automatically add the track in the intersections. If you do it piece by piece and work in a reverse direction or do one side and then another side, it won't automatically fill in um, those middle intersections. It only does the intersections if you're continuing from the road adjacent to it. So if I were to stop building right now and start up again, it won't place that intersection unless I select a, an existing track. So we've almost made it to the bridge. And you can see there's a little bit of congestion at this bridge. So there's definitely going to be some issues here. And over here we've got a lot of intersections, including one that's very short. And those little intersections uh, increase the amount of time it takes for the tram to get through. As you can see, there is an existing uh, tram line. And not only is there an existing tram line, but it looks like they already loop around. So I'm going to connect it to here. I'm going to take the line heading south, and I'm going to connect it into the existing loop heading south. It's already um, set to go all the way around, and it stops where the green highlighted area is, and I'm going to bring it back to the north, and you'll see it makes a little curved connection in the intersection. And now I am done laying the track. We are going to now place the stops on the track. And the stops are, are placed based on using this guide with all these circles that you see. I'm going to place my first stop here, and it makes a red circle. That's the coverage area. And the next stop you want to have with a little bit of overlapping coverage area, and you, you're better off placing it at the intersection. So you can see that my... Um, bus stops are at the same intersections with my tram. And you want to make sure you put it near the track. If you put it on the sidewalk, which is where this uh, red arrow is right now, the people will not be able to cross the street to get to that stop. So it has to be um, as close to that track as possible. If you put it, for example, on the sidewalk where the red arrow is, it would not allow passengers to board the tram. Uh, 
Uh, this will be a junction for the monorail. And we've got another busy intersection here for um, a bus intersection. This is a very industrial area. Now, since it's an industrial area, this means that people are going to go here to go to work. And then I will place a stop coming off of the bridge. This then becomes a little bit trickier. Uh, if you put stops under this intersection, you're pretty much going to guarantee that you're going to have uh, traffic jams because this, this uh, train is going to block traffic on these intersections. So I'm going to place one over here. And the reason why is because when the tram lines up behind it, it's not going to prevent vehicles from getting onto this green off-ramp. I'm going to place my other stop over here because, again, it won't be blocking any of the roads. If you place it closer to the bridge, you're probably going to be blocking traffic somewhere when the, when the trams stop to pick up and offload passengers. So um, you don't want to do that. We're going to head south, and I'm almost done. This is where we get the, uh, the loop where it turns around and comes back. And you'll notice that there's one stop on the loop, but the rest of the loop does not have any stops. And the reason why is because you don't want to have stops on the loop if it delays trams because there's going to be perhaps three tram lines using that loop so we don't want uh, a lot of congestion on the loop i've only picked one stop which is right here which has two lines going through it and i'm going to be adding a third line which is going to go to the stop okay so i finished placing the stops. Now I'm going to create a line and I'm going to use the add stop function. Go to the depot. I'm going to add one at a time. Make sure that that zero turns from yellow to white. If it doesn't, that means it was not added. It's very difficult to insert at a later point, it's not impossible, but the, uh, the system doesn't always do it the way you want it to be done. One of the other things I do with my lines is that at some point, I make sure that they have enough vehicles. Uh, when you don't have as much money, you're probably not going to have enough vehicles for your transit system, but now that I have a very profitable system, um, I can pretty much buy all the vehicles that I want. So I always have enough vehicles and I always make sure that they're running. If I see people waiting at the stops, I just add more vehicles. So I have a pretty efficient system. So this is the loop where it turns around. And we're going to head back. And this is one of the more important routes because we don't have a lot of horizontal um, transit lines on the western mainland. So adding as many as possible is very important. Now you'll notice you may have seen that there's a traffic issue, which is a bug in the game, that was at the highway intersection. I'll go back to that and explain different ways how you can fix it. 
Okay. From here, I, I should probably add one more stop. So I will do that. And that last stop will be right here. And then I'm going to complete the route. Now I'm going to go to the, where it says edit timetable and I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to click the down button so that it covers the whole day. It goes until 11.55 p.m. and I'm going to set it to a two minute interval where it says tram line 29.0 slash 6. It's going to go up, it went up to 11. So I have to buy at least 11 trains. But we're going to buy a few extras so that uh, when they're doing their maintenance, uh, the extras will take over. So I'm going to buy um, 16 trains. And now that line is running. So I'm going to go back over here. There was a little bit of a traffic problem. And I'll explain what's going on. Uh, you're going to see this often in the game. These vehicles coming from the north are getting onto this off-ramp and then they're getting back on the road. So they're going here and then they're getting back onto the highway. They're not taking the route that they're supposed to take. And this happens frequently in the game. Uh, and I'm, I don't understand why it does this. Uh, there's a few ways that you can fix it. One is that you can send them into a, for example, this is a three-lane road, goes into a three-lane road, into a three-lane road, into a three-lane road. Sometimes if you widen the road in between to four or five lanes, sometimes they won't take the off-ramp and they'll get onto the wider road. The other thing you can do is you could just get rid of this off-ramp, make it more difficult for them to get off and on, and hopefully it will compute this as being the faster route. Uh, it should have computed it because obviously over here there's a traffic stop and they have to wait at the intersection. Uh, it takes a long time. Uh, so basically your choices are to change the width, the number of lanes on the road in between, to change whether or not there is an on-ramp or an off-ramp, you could remove it, or you could try connecting it to a different intersection, such as over here, or you could connect it to this road to get back on, which means that they would have to go from here to here to here to here in order to get back on to the, to, to the highway, which by making it a longer route, they shouldn't go that way. However, none of those are guaranteed. It is unfortunately a bug in the game. So that is how to add tram line and you can go check on it by opening up this window you'll see over here it says tram line 29 and it says 1 slash 11 uh, the 1 slash 11 the 1 means that there is one train that is currently on the route and, the, and that there's 11 that at maximum can be assigned to the route even though it does go over sometimes but 11 is the estimate for how much it plans to schedule to go on that route.